Hi, it's Kelly here, and we are going to be take. You are going to be feeling so great, great, great about yourself when we get done with this with this video because and it's automatic. You already qualify for it. It's going to be free, and it, you're gonna you're just gonna walk away on a cloud. You're gonna float out. All right. And what I'm going to be talking about is one of the aspects in this book, which is, is there a question that heals instantly? And it is phenomenal. And I'm going to mention a couple of numbers, but I don't understand the numbers. I'm just going to use the numbers to kind of give you a guideline, you know, give you a, a picture. These are going to be picture numbers, a number of pictures. <laughs> right? And you're absolutely going to love it. And this stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you is not woo-woo. It comes from, the start of it comes from this book, which is a high school textbook, physical chemistry, or excuse me, physical, what's it called? Physical science. So it talks about a lot of different aspects of science. This, talk, this is in Florida, and usually book textbooks like this it's I believe it's they're taught all over the country. So the same book would be in, in, in quite a few states, if not all of them. And it came about because I found the book in a nursing home in the library, and it was in a box. I had some time to spend, and I pulled the book pulled the book out and opened it up to page 172. Are you ready for a little reading, a little a little fireside chat, or what do you call it when, when, the, you know, your parents read the book to your little child? <laughs> Not that you were children. I'm the child in this case. Um, and it's about uh, what we're made up of, and you know, we're made up of basically what are called protons and and electrons. There's a little bit more than that, the neutrons, whatever. But they're all atoms, they, or they make up atoms. And the electrons are spinning around the uh, proton. We used to think it was spinning in a straight line around. Now it's the, the opinions about that are, are quite different. They keep changing. They've changed a number of times as, as to how it works. Right? And when we see them in a book, sometimes we, we kind of see them as, as two-dimensional, or even though it's a three-dimensional drawing, it looks flat, but of course it's a it's a it's a ball. You know, it's like the Earth or something, and the electrons are flying around it on the outside, and they could have any number of protons in it and any number of electrons, and they match up basically how many protons, how many electrons. You don't need to know that. It's it's kind of irrelevant. So anyway, it's in this book, and I'm going to read it to you. Bear with me. I have trouble reading books out loud. Um, and so we're going to talk about electric forces and gravitational forces and compare the two. And it says here, the force of gravity between you and the Earth seems to be strong. And we know that it is because it holds a train down on the ground, right? Or, or, or a high-rise building, right? It doesn't float off in space. Those things don't float off in space, so they're, it's pretty good. Uh, the force of gravity between you and the Earth seems to be strong. Yet compared with electric forces, the force of gravity is very weak. And very is understated here. For example, the electric force between a proton and an electron in the hydrogen atom is about a thousand trillion 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 times larger which is about 10 to the 39th times larger. So, what does that mean? That this little electron is, is that much stronger than the protons. And these, these little electrons are flying around inside of us with this tremendous force, right? Well, the, the thing to know about the 10 to the 39th is that all the forces in the physical body are taking place between those two extremes? You got the you have the gravity, you got the, and you've got the 
the electron force, and we're not talking about magnetism, which most people don't understand. I sure don't. That's part of the, one of the four forces. I don't even remember what the fourth force is. Um, I think it's the fourth force is you got to pay your taxes. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> so anyway, back to the proton and the electron. And that's what makes us up. And, and we're just filled with them. You know, we have, you know, they say trillions of cells. I, I thought it was in billions when I was in high school, but I guess trillions of cells. And each cell has probably trillions of uh, atoms in it, each one. So there's a bunch. And that's what we're made up of. And the trees and the, you know, and the animals and, the, and, and your neighbors and everybody are made up of these things. And they work together, right? So it would seem like when we look at that, if that force, if those two forces are that strong, and we look at our life and we go, geez, you know, I don't feel like I have that capability. I'm, I'm just a little peon, uh, you know, in, in this vast universe that we live in. And we feel like as, as hard as we might struggle, we have a hard time really seeing beyond what's in front of us. And in fact, when it comes to vision, we see a certain amount of uh, colors of light or, 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 or powers of light. It's real, real narrow. You know, insects will see a different light. Uh, animals that are out at night will see a different light. Uh, things like that. I think that's the way that works. And then there's also visual acuity. You know, you have our vision, and then you have, a, you know, like a, an eagle's vision is, uh, you know, much better than ours. And it would be great. Wouldn't it be great if we could have vision like that? And so, but God figured out that we have just the right amount for what we need. Um, but it all takes place there, you know, and, and we struggle, and it seems like the world is overwhelming. It seems like it's, those forces are much greater than us, right? So if we look at ourselves, we go, well, I'm, a, I'm 10 to the first or second power, you know, which would be 10 or 100, or a third power, which would be 1,000, right? And 10 to the 39th is... It's, it's, it, we can't conceive it, but it's 13 sets of zeros, right? And that's, and that's within us, but we don't, seem to, we don't seem to tap into it for our lives, right? At least I, I don't, you know, as far as I can tell. I mean, if I, I'm trying to evaluate how I'm doing compared to my potential, right? So we, that's where we put ourselves. You know, maybe when we read the book, we think, oh, I'm down here as 10 to the first power, which is 10, or 10 to the second power, which is 100. And, you know, it's so vast. Oh, I'm, not, I'm just not performing the way I should. Well, I want to suggest a different viewpoint. And that is that all of us are operating fully. So we are operating at our full potential. We are operating at a thousand trillion, trillion, trillion times stronger than gravity. And it, so it's like, well, why don't we fly into space? Because gra gravity is, you know, we're stronger than gravity. We, we, we could escape that. We could fly so fast. Uh, imagine it would, be, it would be faster than the speed of light. Um, so anyway, we have to function at that level. Because if we didn't, certain parts of us would break down and we would not live very long. And in some cases, we might die instantly. So, for example, if we were to cut our finger, it'd be like a minor little you know, thing, right? But if we cut right around here, the same size cut, you know, that's serious and it could you know, be tr big, big trouble. But anyway, None of us are perfectly operating, you know, at 10 to the 39th power, but it's not 
10 to the 38th power or 10 to the 37th power that you're functioning at. That, that's a huge, huge difference. And I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, let's say we're operating at one less than 10 to the 39th power. And I promise you, this is not going to be, it's all going to come together when I, hopefully when I explain this to you, I, I, I'm sure it will. So, so in other words, when you look at that string of zeros, if we're operating at one less, so the, all the zeros turn into, into nines, right? And that's, that's real close to 10 to the 39th power, right? And if we're, if, you know, if we're not feeling super duper, you know, people who are, the people, the human dynamos might be functioning at, the, at minus one, right? And the rest of us are maybe two, three, four, you know, average people, you know, minus, minus two, three, or four. And I could be off on these numbers a little bit. It's not important. But all of us, the key thing to know is, is that you, you are operating at full potential all the time within, you know, within a hair's breadth of it. So, you know, if you were really sick, you know, with a cold, you might be, you might drive down, you know, to five, well, probably more than that, five, six, seven, maybe drop down minus 10, you know, and if you were close to death, you might drop down 15 or 20, and when we die, it would, it might go down to 40, or 20, 30 or 40, and, you know, I, and I, I could be off on these numbers, but, but just to give you an idea of how minuscule it is, where we operate, because, we, you know, if you take a, if you take a machine and it's it's not working, you know, it's off by a 40 and it needs to be 10 to the 39th, uh, it's going to be wobbling, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's and that's, you're not going to live very long that way. The machine is not going to live long that way. It's going to start making a racket and they're going to have to put the machine in a nursing home and uh, that sort of thing. You, you, get, you get my drift? I'm drifting off here. <laughs> so, so now, so all of that area is we function somewhere in there, depending how how vital we are. You know, let's say it's 50, just to pick a round number, or 100. What 100 is even better? You know, at a if you're minus 100, you're you're dead. If you're 99, you're close to it. All right. But you're right up there on, on a number that is 10 to the 39th power. It's got, it's huge, which is you're an elite. It's like you're, you're king of the world. You know, like uh, in the movie Titanic, I'm king of the world. You know, you are. Every one of us, it's, it's like automatic. It's been gifted to us by loving, by the, the one who represents loving kindness, which is God, right? So, um, but that's still the physical world, isn't it? And we know that God is much greater than that. And if you don't believe in God, just hang with, hang with me on this, so that you can, so that you can really get ticked off. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, God operates, not only does he operate in this whole area of 10 to the 39th power, he's it, it, like right there, you can't see it, it's invisible. It's not the magnetic power, that's part of the physical world. It's kind of like right on it, right? In there, but God doesn't stop there. God goes 10 to the 40th, 10 to the 41st. Now remember 10 to the 40th, is 10 times greater than the number we just talked about that we can't even comprehend. So, you know, going back to, you know, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, each time we go up, it, ex it gets 10 times more. Like you want to get paid 1,000, right? But you'd really like to get paid 10,000. There's a big gap between 1,000 and 10,000. Well, now you can imagine what 
the gap is between 10 to the 10 to the 39th, a, a thousand trillion trillion trillion. It, it's it's 10,000 trillion trillion trillions. So it's yeah, that's God, and that's the start of God. Well, not the start, but it is the part of God that is not com uh, restricted by the physical world that he created, right? It's so much beyond. And so, and we get there through, gr through gratitude, for example. Everything that before that is like we, like it says in Ecclesiastes, or, or I'm going to paraphrase here, you know, you can, it, it was probably written by Solomon, and he was the wisest man of all, and he, he was the richest man of all, and he had the most wives, he had the most concubines, he had everything. But he says that it was all vanity, it was meaningless. And sure enough, if, if you were able to express your 10 to the 39th power, it, you would be in charge of the world and, 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 and 10 worlds over. All right? So, um, but it's all limited. And that person who does that could be doing it because they love God or they could be doing it because they fear God. And they think that replacing it with, with uh, you know, safety, money, relationships, sex, food, uh, you know, good times, good time Charlie, all of that. And, and we know if we're stuck in that, it's never quite satisfying. Or if it is, it's satisfying. And then it's not satisfying. And then when we pursue it too much, it becomes the cause of our death. So that's why it's vanity and it's meaningless. So we want to get to gratitude, because gratitude follows the laws of grace. And in grace, you start to you start to see the problems that you have as being beautiful lessons and things that you can correct and you're thankful to God while it's happening. So it's not a matter of, well, this will pass. It doesn't need to pass. It's exquisite as it is. The blessings already are. I think it's Sanskrit, Barush Bishan means the blessings already are. So when we are in the worst place, if we are so drunk for the thousandth time and we wake up sick and we wake up in a bed full of, you know, where we've vomited. That's when we hit rock bottom, right? And what happens when you hit rock bottom? You bounce real high. You bounce really high. And, and people who have had issues with alcohol become sometimes the most dynamic people on earth. The people who've had the hardest life oftentimes become the most dynamic person in the world because they have they have seen the pitfalls and the, and because they're operating from grace they choose correctly and and because the earth the physical realm is imperfect it disintegrates or it, 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 it you know like the plants that grow and then they the, the flowers wilt and everything dies um, your, I forgot what I was going to say. Boy, the word was right there. Um, it's all, it's all going to go away, and, and, uh, and die, and then, and then something new will grow in its place. But it's, it's like that endless, endless loop. All right, and when you get to grace, you realize that God has forgiven you. And, and forgiveness is another thing that operates in the law of grace and blessings. So now you got two tools working for you, right? You got gratitude working for you, and you have forgiveness working for you. 
and that's going to give you energy because you are just feeling like, thank God. And, and you probably in your life, you can think of occasions where things have been horrible and then something happened and it just turned around for you. You know? And, and then you've had to go the reverse way, right? Where it's like you're on top of the world. You know, you, you just won the lottery. You got a million dollars and you open up the mailbox and somebody's suing you for two million. That, that happens. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so as soon as you open the letter, you, you know, you, I don't know about you, but I just, whoosh, I just feel the heat drop down. There, my face maybe gets hot, I guess, and then my stomach is like, oh, right in the gut. And you might feel it in your chest, and you might feel it in your joints, in your eyes, and your head might explode, wherever you feel it. You know, we've all had moments like that. So, the, what I'm getting at here is, is that using this question that's in the book will aid you in an unbelievable manner and if so if you have the book you are I hope this this information has helped you a great deal because we don't want the world just to be operating on heartfelt energizers we definitely want heartfelt energizers to make life go smoothly and remove our pain and just feel better and feel more energized and sleep great and be happy, and be creative and, and innovative. Um, by the way, uh, you know I've been doing this for five years with the heartfelt energizers and the, or, you know, the, 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 the whirling bliss machines, and and you know about five years and the heartfelt energizers maybe three or four years, right? And and all that time is that I've wanted to share it. I've been able to share it in small ways to, you know, to a limited number of people. Um, yesterday, I had taken the book, you know, the, the Lakowski book, and I think it's over here. I'm going to, pardon me if I get off camera, I want to just see if it's here. Uh, I don't see it. So, but you've seen it before, it's in my other videos. And um, let me look over here too. Nope. So uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> That's the way life is. We keep discovering things. We forget stuff. We, you know, I've been like that my whole life. I forget stuff, you know, that I've read. I, I, I had trouble reading more than ten pages in high school and college. Uh, and my comprehension was not very good, um, and and I can tell you that that in a large part of my life I was really really unhappy and feeling frustrated because as you as most of you know I had a broken back at the age of a year old uh, was beaten severely by a nanny and um, wasn't discovered but the trauma in my life. Uh, made me feel untrusting of people. I just didn't trust people. And of course, it would be easy for me to get angry or even go into a rage because I felt my, my response to that at the time was, God, why me? Why are you doing this to me? I'm just a cute little baby, you know? And my parents are good looking. And they, I'm hoping they didn't skip a generation when it came to me, you know? So I had, a lot of issues to clear up. One time, uh, a gentleman who who could supposedly see your aura or whatever, he told me I was the most negative person that he had ever read. Right, and I was like, "Oh, well, how do I how do I fix that?" And the funny thing was, he said, "Imagine a record player with gravel on it, and." And that you're cleaning, you got a brush, and you and you're sweeping off the gravel. And of course, I ended up using record players with crystals, you know, stones and things like that, with organite and what have you, to clear the stuff even faster. 
That's isn't that amazing? I just that just occurred to me. Um, you see how this is? It just it's always unfolding. New awarenesses are unfolding. I've had probably 20 awarenesses today. And oh, so I was telling you about. I had the book, and 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 I went to the grocery store, the shop, and there was a, a clerk there, who um, she want she the last time well, not the last time but she wanted me to tell her more about this stuff. She said I'm really fascinated by this, and so uh, I brought the book with me in case she was there so I could show her the pictures in the book. Well, it ended up that because of the expansive nature of myself. I, I, I'm pretty funny with people who are shopping. Yeah, I'm actually, I ride around in a cart because of my broken back. It affects my upper neck and it's hard for me to push a cart and walking also is a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm riding around cracking jokes, you know, telling people, you know, when I get close to a cart, I'll say, I'll say, you know, you think I do this bad, you should, you should see me drive. And, uh, you know, they, they just crack up. They're, yeah, so, yeah, and, I, and I'm constantly saying things, you know. So I get into conversations with people, and, and, and it's all for upliftment, you know, and to be, have fun and to, and to share, and, and, and to let them know that they're not alone in this world. You know, they, they, you know they're not going to the grocery shore, store. No one talks to them. The cashier brings their stuff up, tells them how much it is, might not even have said hello, and they go home and they blow the brains out. So, it doesn't have to be like that. I found, it used to be when I would go into the grocery store, this was years ago, I was having some health issues, and People would avoid eye contact with me, uh, and it happened all the time. Not just about all the time, 95 percent of the time. Now, people get within 20, 30 feet of me, and often they will smile, and they'll even say hello. And so, and of course, I, you know, greet them as well, and. and uh, when people ask me how I'm doing, I say, I'm feeling more amazing by the moment. And then they start laughing. And, and so then we start a conversation, and, I, and so I've had a new acquaintance in my life. And so I feel like I've saved a life. So anyway, I'm walking in the store, and there's somebody out there outside who's raising money for, you know, some kind of Christian charity for to get food for poor people. and and other you know, clothing, things like that. And I get into the conversation with the guy, and uh, I, showed, I ended up showing them pictures, you know, because I wanted to share something valuable to him because he wants to help people, you know, make their lives better. And uh, so I shared it, and he just loved it, and he shook my hand, and I, and I, and I mentioned Ecclesiastes to him, and he, he shook my hand again. And he was just thrilled to find out about this. All right, then I bump into somebody from the church that I go to, and uh, I had a conversation with him. And and then, uh, and then it's, I, I don't remember if there were three more, two more people I talked to in the store, and I, I got into a conversation with a lady on the on the uh, what do you call that when you're into into arts and crafts and things like that. And I told her, when I, when I was riding down there, I said, you know, I'm sorry I found this, this aisle because I, I might be here all night. And she said, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and so we got in a conversation and I shared it with her and she was rapt attention. She was really listening. And so then I left, I, I didn't see the lady, but a man asked me for the cart. He was about 40, 45, and he he had a bad, bad limp, and he had a hat on that said, you know, something about the military. He was he was in the Marines. Yeah, the hat was about the Marines. But he was also in the Army, 22 years, and he got injured from riding in a truck. Uh, 
and maybe other things too, because he was he was in Afghanistan, he was in in Iraq, you know, and so anyway, so I talked with him, and he just looked at me, and I just felt like I was looking into the eyes of God. And in fact, when I'm in the store, I I, I attempt to do that. I try to see the God in people, the, the, the most of them that I can. I don't remember to do that all the time, but I do. I try to do that, and so. He was just, and he said to me, life is a blessing. Everything is a blessing. This is what he said to me. <laughs> it was a great conversation. Um, so anyway, this is the kind of world that we can have where we are operating from that place of 10 to the 40th, 10 to the 41st, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I invite you to practice this. By the way, the question is, is there a question, well, the, the title of the book is, is there a question that heals instantly? And the question is, why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? And I explain more in the book about how it works, why it works, and why it's automatic you, it, it, you can't fail with the, with the question. Um, and there's also four brief chapters where I mention and talk about uh, various aspects of this energy that's involved with the, with the heartfelt energizers. The same energy is involved in the organite, and that's what I mostly talk about in the book. Um, and and uh, I think it'll, it'll just blow your mind. And so we can get the world to do all this and we can we can make this world change. You can you can make the people around you change um, for the better. So they'll be happy because they will you will have said hello to them. And you never know when you might have saved a life, or if that person will then behave in a way with someone else to save their life or to save them from getting into an argument because they had such a hard day or maybe somebody getting s struck in the face or somebody getting drunk again or maybe they stop drinking and they start drinking and we can prevent that from happening and so we can make peace all around us and they say that the flapping of the wings of a butterfly reaches to the end of the galaxy, the, end, the, the frequencies. And your heartfelt energizer is kind of like that butterfly, every butterfly, and like you. Because you don't see it, because we have a very narrow vision as to what we can see. But our vision is... Uh, well, not our vision, but our, our potential, our, not our potential even, who we are, who you are right now, right this instant, you don't have to do anything, is in this realm. Physical science, physical science, you are 10 to the 39th. And if you're feeling really bad, you might be minus 50, you know? It's not that hard to get the final 50. In fact, you'll find that even as you're, as you're gradually getting back to you know, all 50 of those, even before then, you're in the 10 to the 40th and 10 to the 41st. And that makes the last 50 that much easier to get. It's like, it's like you'll, you'll just like, I don't care if I hurt because I'm not feeling the pain right now. Or it's it's let up a whole lot, and I can see the way to how to how how to take care of myself, and you know all that, and and I might also also should mention that the question enables you to become more innovative, so that the little challenges that you have, which might be for me, is dropping something on the floor. Uh, it could be how you relate and how you speak to to your your spouse or your children, um, whatever, you will, you will just 
oh yeah, I can start talking that way. I can start using these words. I can ask how she's doing. I can ask how he's doing. All of those things as you're gradually getting better. And of course that, you know, when you're having a great relationship with your spouse, you know, for those moments you forget the pain that you might be dealing with. So it, it's there and it can be temporary, it can be long lasting. And you'll, but you will have, you will have the tool to keep doing that. So, you know, if you're, if you're at 49, at 50, and you want to get to 49, you know, minus 49 instead of minus 50, you can do that. And now you have the tool of how to, you can just ask again. And, and, and it'll get you to 48 because, you, because you're going to be living in, you're going to be living in loving kindness. Because remember, it's why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Loving kindness is a quality or even a name for God. Uh, he has many, many names, many, many qual beautiful qualities. So we move into that, and we can do it instantly and automatically. And you don't have to ask the question four and five times in a row. You can just ask it when you feel like you want to. You know, when when it's safe to do so. And so, I want this world to be uh, a world of God. I want it to be a world of praise, praising God, of gratitude, of love, and forgiveness. It's already here, actually. All of that that I just said we I want, it's already here. Um, now I'm going to show you something. You may have seen this before. This has tremendous uh, power for a stationary object. Um, it's designed with the Lakovsky uh, designs in it. It has all sorts of you know, things. It's got tensor beads here. It's full of crystals and copper, and it's quite heavy. And it's, you know, if you tried to count the stuff that's in here, you would, it would take you all day. It might take you a week to count everything that's in here. And yet it is nothing compared to what's inside of you and the love that's in you and the gratitude and the grace. You are functioning now in grace. That's, that's the engine that drives the physical world. So, and you're functioning there because if you weren't functioning there, you would be at minus 100. And you'd still be functioning there. You see, that's an example of how those laws are different than our laws here. You know, everything has to add up to 100, let's say. You know, everything has to, bookkeeping, you know. But the other realms don't operate there. And that's why they cannot be discovered and proven in the physical realm because they don't have the, the power, they don't have the force in them to be tested. It, it, there's no, it, it's impossible to de develop a, de a device to me objectively measure the God that is in each one of us. And God is in us. It says in the Bible that the kingdom of heaven is within. And he says, I'm going to the Father. And where is he going to the Father? He's going to heaven. So where is he going? He's going within. Fully. When we shed our body, we will see it in, in all of its glory, but it will keep growing, and it will be more and more glory. Um, we, um, 
Until then, we have this beautiful opportunity to see it at this level in great, great detail. I think maybe at the other levels, the we, we don't have that ability. That, that's probably not right, but uh, it's just where it's most powerful, uh, we are the weakest, and here, uh, where it's the weakest, it's most powerful. And that's, you know, 10 to the, 10 to the 40th is, is more powerful, 10 to the 41st is more powerful. And it, so anyway, well, thank you for listening. I hope I, I've been able to help you. Uh, there's a lot of information here. Uh, you're invited to watch it again, share it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we can turn this world around in an instant. We can turn the individuals around in an instant. And we can turn all the stuff that's going on, all the challenges that are going on, they could be changed in an instant. Just like you could blow up an area in an instant with an atom bomb, we can blow up life from a higher power, from 10 to the 40th, 10 to the 41st, 10 to the 4 million, 10 to the 4, 41 million. Right? Yeah, that's right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for listening. You take care and God bless.